Hey friends, welcome back to Homestead on a Prayer. Today we have a really quick video. I just wanted to pop in here real quick and give you guys an update on this pepper tower. We planted this pepper tower together about, probably about a month and a half ago. And there's been a lot of growth since then and I just wanted to give you a little update. So this year for the first time, I'm trying out a couple of green stock planters. So this is the original planter. As I said, this is my first year using it. And I decided to be a little bit adventurous and try planting peppers in this planter. So you can see, I was able to fit a lot of pepper plants in a really small space in this planter here, which is something that really appealed to me because I have pretty limited space and I like to take advantage of as much, I, I like to take advantage of um, what space I do have by cramming as many plants as possible into that small space. So this type of planter that I have here has 30 individual pockets in it. So in theory, I could put 30 pepper plants in this planter, but I thought that that might be a little bit too crowded. So what I ended up doing was planting every other pocket with a pepper plant and then putting basil seeds in the in-between pockets. Basil's a little bit of a smaller plant. So I thought that that might give my peppers a little bit more breathing room, which I'm thinking was probably the right choice. So I'm not sure, maybe next year I'll try growing a pepper in every single pocket and see what happens, but I'm really happy this year with getting 15 plants in this little space. Well, 15 peppers and then 15 basils in the, um, in the opposite pockets. So here on the top tier, you can see I have a shishito pepper plant, which is pretty loaded with peppers. We have already harvested from this plant already, and it looks like it's ready for another harvest. And then here, you can see I've got a basil plant. The basil's a little bit small still because I planted seedlings of basil at the same time that I planted pepper transplants. So the basil will take a little bit to catch up, but it's at that point. So basil always seems to me like it grows really slowly and takes a long time until it gets to a certain point. And once it gets to that point, it seems to just explode with growth. And I think my basil is about getting to that point now. So hopefully soon we'll have some impressive basil harvest from this tower. So when choosing peppers to go in this tower, I specifically tried to choose pepper varieties that where the plants stay a little bit more compact and they have smaller fruits which I think was a wise choice. And I think next year, I mean, at least so far, I'm really pleased with the results. And I'm thinking I'll be doing this again next year, but I think I will do the same thing where I choose smaller fruited pepper varieties. Here for contrast, you can see I've got a Corno de Taro pepper here. This is a larger plant and you can see it's got larger peppers. I don't think that this would have necessarily been the wisest choice for going in the green stock. Now, that being said, as I said, this is my first year growing in the green stock planter like that. So if you've grown in it before and you've been able to grow, see, I'm trying to show you this large, this really large pepper plant that I have here. I don't think that that would have necessarily been a wise choice for the green stock. But as I said, it's my first year growing in it. So if you have grown in the green stock before and you've been able to grow larger pepper varieties, larger fruited pepper varieties, I'd love to hear from you. But I'm thinking, the plants that I have in the green stock that are all smaller fruited varieties seem to be doing really well, so I'm thinking that was probably the right choice. So in addition to the shishito here, I've got a cayenne pepper up here. I've got several jalapenos of different varieties. Not everything is fruiting yet. Here I've got a lemon drop pepper, just starting to, to make peppers. More jalapenos up here. Um, another cayenne over here. So it's a variety of different pepper varieties. And then here you can see I've got a few different basil varieties as well up here, more basil. So overall, I'm really pleased with this so far. So of course I'll have to wait till the end of the season to really know for sure whether this was worth it or not. But I do have most of the varieties that I have growing in this green stock, I also have you know, additional plants of the same variety growing in individual pots on my deck. And so far I would say that the plants in the green stock are doing just as well as, you know, their counterparts in individual pots. So I don't think being in this tower is negatively impacting them at all. As I said, I chose smaller plants, smaller fruited plants purposely, but the, 
you know, the equivalent plants in the pots that I have are doing doing just as well, seem to be producing about the same amount. Obviously, I won't know for sure about that until the end of the season, but so far, I'm pleased with this. I would say it's definitely been worth the space. I will say the one mistake that I made, I'll show you. <laughs> I don't think that I really allowed enough space. So you can see the pepper plants are, you know, they're growing upright, but they're also sprawling over the edge a little bit. And it's kind of hard to turn the planter without plants getting caught on the, on the edge of the deck there. So I think I probably should have allowed a little more space. My personal, or my planter is not on wheels, which makes it pretty much impossible to move now that it's planted. But I'm thinking next year when I plant it again, I'm going to space it a little bit farther from the edge of the deck and a little bit farther from the other plants. Now, my deck in general this year, not specifically this green stalk, but all the plants on the deck have gotten larger and wilder than normal. So I allowed the amount of space that I would have normally needed, but because it's been, you know, it's been, it's been a good year for plants in the garden this year, at least plants on my deck, I should say. So I think I probably should have allowed a little more space just to avoid crowding, but I think that overall it's doing really well. One other thing I may consider next year is staking individual plants in the green stalk. Some plants, you can see like this cayenne here, is growing really nicely upright without any issues. This shishito is sprawling a little bit. So I think if I staked the plants more upright, it might, might work a little bit better. So that's something to experiment with next year. Overall, I'm really pleased with how much food I've been able to grow so far in this small space. I will definitely keep you updated as the season goes on. At the end of the season, I'll let you know my final thoughts on growing peppers in this tower this year. And we'll find out next year if I'm brave enough to do a pepper in every pocket or if I just wanna keep doing every other like I did this year. I really do like having the basil in there too. So I'm kind of thinking I probably don't really need to push it and put a pepper in every single pocket on here. But overall, this was a great experiment and so far I'm really glad I tried it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will link the video where we planted this pepper tower together in the video description. So if you wanna see kind of the before how this started, you can go take a look at that. And I guess this is not quite the after because we'll get to that at the end of the season, but this is the during. And so far I'm really happy with it. So thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your morning with me on this beautiful summer morning. I hope you're having a great day. I hope that your gardens are growing abundantly and I can't wait to see you soon. I'll see you next time.